Liberty is a gift of God, wrote Thomas Jefferson in 1781, the idea that rights and freedom come not from a king or a government, but a creator. At the birth of our nation, these were revolutionary thoughts. The founders certainly said often enough that without morals and religion, a government like ours, a republic, could not be made to work. Morality, virtue, strong values were essential if people were going to rule themselves. Hello, I'm Newt Gingrich. And I'm Callista Gingrich. The next time someone says that religious expression has no place in the public square, take them on a stroll through Washington, D.C. This walking tour is not just a look at the architecture and beauty of our nation's capital. It is a tour of our American history, of the great men and women, events, documents, and ideas that are at the heart of our freedom and our identity as Americans. For the founders, it was clear. Religious liberty and freedom of expression would be a cornerstone of our democratic government and pluralistic society. Separation church and state today means secularize the public arena. Separation church and state 200 years ago meant keep the two institutions separate, but don't shut off the influences. There is no attack on American culture more destructive and more historically dishonest than the relentless effort to drive God out of America's public square. But unlike those who want to outlaw the words under God, the Founding Fathers believed that God was central to defining America and to securing the blessings of liberty for our new nation. Government should not interfere with religion. At the same time, government was not hostile to religion. And that's the great beauty of our founding documents, is they provide a balance, a balance of things like the role of religion and the role of individual rights, the roles of the federal government. That balance is delicate, but it's beautiful. Join us on our walking tour of America's capital city. Together, we'll rediscover that our nation was indeed founded under God.